Hi, John Fugler here. Let's spend a few minutes retreating with God. Instead of retreat, we're going to go forward, full force, because courage is our theme this week, and we're going to kick it off together today. Your father shows signs of memory loss, and you know what's on the horizon. Or you hear murmurings about organizational shakeups at work. You'll, you'll wonder if you'll be part of the new plan. Or maybe your son is about to go off to college and the family unit will be split apart. Or you're moving, trading the world you've known for uncertainties ahead. Change is hard. We get comfortable with the familiar and become fearful when change shows up. I remember the season when I was trying to adapt to a challenging four-in-one change. <laughs> That's change on steroids. A new job, entirely new location in another part of the country, uh, finding a new church and making new friends that I could trust. Uh, these lifestyle changes are hard to grapple with. We can learn from Peter who went through a change that rocked him to the core of his being. We go into Galatians chapter 2. The apostle points out, I opposed him to his face because he stood condemned. That's in verse 11. That sounds pretty serious. Reflecting all the changes that I've experienced in my life over the years, I've never stood condemned in them. <laughs> Have you? Well, Peter struggled with moving from a life based on the law to a new life based on faith alone. He had mastered law-based living by practicing it for over 20 years. Paul explains in the same passage that in Peter's new life of faith, he ate and fellowshiped with Gentile Christians, but separated himself when the circumcision group came for a visit. Sounds like the mob showed up from another side of town, and, and Paul says Peter was afraid of him. <laughs> this stalwart, bold, fearless Peter was scared to death. He cowered instead of standing up for his new faith centered on the finished work of the cross. He withdrew into the life he knew so well, the life of the law. That was more comfortable for him. This escalated even further to the point that other Jewish Christians, as it says in verse 12, joined him in his hypocrisy so that by their hypocrisy, even Barnabas was led astray. Oh, Paul read the riot act to Peter. He scolded others who were guilty too. Take a look at Galatians 2. Paul spent this chapter and the next three explaining the beautiful truth of living by faith in Christ alone. He wrote these words at the pinnacle of his exhortation. It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Oh, go look that up in Galatians 5.1. You may have replaced faith with works. If so, Come back to Jesus. You're free in him. Peter chose to leave the falsehood of law-based living and return to a life centered on faith alone in the Savior he loved. Peter became the rock, the leader of the early church. The bigger lesson here is that when you're facing any change, cling to the unchanging God who is your anchor. He says in Psalms 46, the first two verses, God is our refuge and strength an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way and mountains fall into the heart of the sea. Oh, it may feel like the earth is giving way as you face a serious change in your life. You're disoriented, confused, fearful. It takes courage to embrace the uncomfortable, just as Peter found when he returned to the roots of his faith. Find your confidence in Jesus and invite your loving Savior to walk with you through your change. Let's go deeper, okay? We're going to go into Psalms 46 again, and we're going to take a look at verses 1 through 7. We're going to have a real good, encouraging time here. So go look that up or scroll down because it's in the show notes. And this topic of change, or a topic of courage, I should say, is, is part of the 21-day Fresh Faith experience that I'm offering you. It's a free download. It's a 21-day devotional. There's three chapters in there on courage. And if it's something you need to really get into, hey, go get the 21-day Fresh Faith Experience. Download it right now at retreatingwithgod.org. We explore joy and rest and encouragement, prayer, the identities of Jesus, faith, and of course, as I mentioned, courage. You get it at retreatingwithgod.org. It's, it's absolutely free. Here's Psalm 46, 1 through 7. We're going to do read, reflect, and relate. So read with me or just listen in. 
I'm reading from the NIV. God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her. She will not fall. God will help her at the break of day. Nations are in uproar. Kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice. The earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Wow, that is full of meat. (laughs) And I, I pray the Holy Spirit will just speak to you, work in your heart during this time of reflection. So let's go ahead and reflect and start with this question. What things stand out in this passage? Do I see anything new about God, or does this passage reinforce something I already know about him? What is the theme or message of this passage, or multiple themes and messages? Then ask these key application questions about the passage. Here's the big one. Is there a promise for me to claim? Has God laid on my heart a sin for me to avoid? Is there an implied command for me to obey? And is there an example for me to follow? Now let's go even deeper with the final most important question. In what way or ways do I know the Father or Jesus better as a result of reflecting on this passage? Now let's take time to relate to God. As a result of reflecting on the passage, pray about the things God has brought to mind. Have a conversation with him. Maybe be the most honest conversation you've had with him in a while. Uh, Maybe it's a time of listening. Anyway, just uh, build that relationship with God. If you came with some prayer requests, then bring those to the Lord as well. So let's go into a time of prayer, and then I'll close us. Thank you.
Almighty God, ruler of the universe, I have to admit, change scares me to death sometimes. And I thank you for the reassurance of your words here in Psalm 46. I read them and speak them, and I'm more confident and more courageous when change hits. And I pray this for my brothers and sisters, that they would be more courageous as well as they lean into you and lean into the truth of your word. Go before them, help them in their times of change. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, download your free resource to help you go deeper with Jesus, that 21-day fresh faith experience at retreatingwithgod.org. We're just getting started, and uh, next time we come together, we'll be, again, looking at courage. Uh, Remember the words of the Apostle Paul in Philippians 3.8, because when it comes down to it, we want to know Christ, and knowing Christ is really the secret to life. I believe that. Philippians 3.8, what is more, I consider everything a loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. Mm. Retreating with God is a ministry of fresh faith 24-7, a place where you can retreat with God and get to know him more deeply. Check it out at freshfaith247.com. Looking forward to getting together next time.